beautiful. Coffee. Oh. You tend to go away soggy by the looks of things. Mm -hmm. so Maybe stick the tent up, I'll come back down, we'll see. That there behind me is Gladstone Rock, and that is to commemorate when the Watkin Path was opened by William Gladstone in 1892. He was Prime Minister then. And apparently this path was the first designated footpath in the UK, I think, which is crazy. Heading up here. snowed in. I'm just tootling my way up really slow. It's still quite early. I think it must be like half eight in the morning. So yeah, I've literally got all day to see if we're going to get a break in these clouds. I'm not going right the way up in that visibility. That's just silly. I can see the path up to the summit now not the summit itself still in clouds but my god that path looks absolutely hellish um, so I think I'm gonna go find somewhere to pitch up do a little day camp just wait a bit see what happens with the weather I can always stay here till tomorrow. Yeah. I'm gonna pitch up here. I've got shelter. Oh my God, I cannot feel my fingers. I need to get these wet clothes off, my top half at least, um, and just warm myself up. I'm gonna stop here, I'm gonna have hot food, and I'm gonna wait this out for a bit, and then reevaluate. I mean, it's a pain in the ass carrying all this weight up the mountain, but it's so nice to have a shelter and to have this option. Ah, it's better. Get some extra hands in there. I cannot tell you how good this food is. 
It is such a morale booster in this weather, in this cold. It's amazing. It's so tasty. Oh, I'm so grateful for it. I've seen so many people coming back down that have changed their mind, not gone to the summit. Um, I've also seen a couple of people that have been like, yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. Um, just go ahead and do it. Which I think is just like crazy in this weather. It's not for me. Dangerous, but each to their own. Okay, so I've just managed to get enough internet to have a look at the forecast and it says two to four o'clock because the sun's going to come out. It's um, nearly midday now, so I think I'm just going to wait this out for a while, see what happens. It's clearing! Yay! I thought the rain stopped, so I stopped packing everything away. And it stopped raining again, so now I've just thrown my tent over myself and all my stuff. I'll show you where we are on the map while I'm sitting here. Yeah, I'm here at the moment, so I've done all of that. I'm there, and the summit's there, and it's this tiny little bit here that is horrendous. <laughs> so if it ever stops raining and clears up, we can have a look. So it's cleared, and I'm on my way up there and then up like that it looks absolutely crazy but i just spoke to some walkers and they said it looks a lot worse than it is from here so i hope they're right definitely think that was a good shout to pitch my tent up and just wait that out it's a lot better now Things are about to get a little bit crazy. Here goes nothing. This is scary, man. It's okay. I feel like if I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall down the screen. I'm not gonna like fall off the mountain. I think. the way up Snowdim at the moment on uh, the miners path. I can't believe that I managed to summit today. The Watkins path is really, really hard. Now I almost, about 20 minutes from the top, I was convinced I had to turn back because it was too hard. Just making my way back down now. Um, I've done this path a couple of times, so it's fine. So just get some water and I'll see you a bit further down. I'm down at the lakes now. I've got to walk around a few 
few miles and then try to find somewhere to camp for the night. Oh my god, jelly legs or what? What a day. That's absolutely insane. I can't believe we did it. Right, let's crack on. decided to pitch up a little way off the miners track. I'm kind of done with this rain now. I just want to get my tent and be dry and I thought time's getting on. I think it's about six o'clock already. So I'm going to camp it out here. Hi sheep friend! <sighs> yeah, beautiful view isn't it? I'll show you the waterfall over there. So Snowden's behind that one I think. can't see him at the moment. And that waterfall over there. Isn't that gorgeous? Alright, let's get the tent up. I've pitched the tent um, out of first. It was a giant pain in the ass. And it's not proper. Like, I think the inner's touching the outer a little bit over there. I'm not sure how to sort it out, but it's absolutely pissing down. I'm knackered, I'm really hungry and you know I filled up my water before my rucksack sort of rolled over and lent on my soya squeeze so it squeezed all the water out of it. So I thought I was in for the night and I've now got to go and get water and my waterproof top is just soaked through, I don't want to put it back on. I'll be in a better mood when I've had something to eat and I know I've got water. And it's sorted. I can't believe I'm going back out there. Wow, that feels horrible with no socks. <laughs> uh, uh, right. Okay. I'll be back in a minute. Oh. I'm so glad I didn't carry on to glide it back. I'm so glad I stopped and set up camp here. I just really hope that this tent holds up in the wind, okay? What worries me is that I didn't pitch it totally properly because I did it out of first. I'm hoping it's gonna be all right. Because it was when I was pitching it, it nearly flew away, I had to grab it, but I didn't have the, the guy lines in. So I'm hoping the guy lines are going to hold it up now. Oh my god, no! I'm in a much better mood now that I've eaten. The rain stopped actually for a little while. So yeah, let me tell you about the walking path. Oh my god. Uh, there's hardly any footage on it actually because. Well, because it's all climbing and scrambling and I was terrified for my life. <laughs> so I wasn't filming. Um, no, what happened was I got on a scree slope. I mean, that part of the path is all sort of scree and scrambling anyway. But this was like a five metre or so section of scree. Um, and the problem was, I don't know if it's because of the weight of my back or what, but I couldn't get up it every time I tried to push up. I just slid backwards um, and I was really thinking you know what this is ridiculous this is really dangerous and I'm gonna have to backtrack which I didn't want to do because I've already done a lot of the difficult stuff and I didn't want to go back doing it the other way so yeah I was gonna just slide down it gingerly the way I came and go back but a couple of hikers came along 
that seemed the really sort of experienced, you know, mountain goat type that sort of hop around on the edge of villages without a second thought. Anyway, um, he said that if you can just get yourself over this bit of scree, you'll be all right, honestly. Um, the rest is like scrambling. You can hold on to stuff. And, uh, but I couldn't do it and I just kept sinking backwards. So they actually helped me. He put a rock under my foot so that I could have something to push up on to get myself off this scree thing and yeah I got myself off it um, with with their help so thank you so much guys honestly if it weren't for you I would have had to I would have gone back because yeah it's ridiculous and learn from my mistakes don't do the walking path with a massive 15.5 kilo whatever it is rucksack because that's stupid you know anyway so I'm really grateful for the people that helped me out today um, those two guys who helped me get off the screw slope um, some other guys I met up on the way up who were also a little bit unsure about it um, and a man and a woman who seeing how shook up I was after the whole screw slope incident asked if I wanted to come along with them um, and sort of went up most of it just behind them as a bit of moral support so yeah amazing thank you so much uh, if any of you see this and um, yeah Wow, what a day. Okay guys, it's starting to get dark. I'm clocking off for the night. Knackered. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs>